My name is Jeff Davis. I'm a decorative painter and a wood carver in Noblesville, Indiana. I work in a workshop in a studio called the Workshops of G.B. Davis. Um, and here I carve historic interpretations of birds and pull toys. I paint reproduction game boards and historic interpretations of signs. Um, I also have a print shop. I'm fascinated with typography and that you can see there's a lot of crossover between my media. Um, I am here today to talk about Old Fashioned Milk Paint, a product that I've been using for over 30 years. I started out as a cabinet maker and all my furniture um, was painted with milk paint. And um, as I rolled into becoming a carver later in my career, it was a, it was a natural transition to, to go and get, or to continue to use these milk paints um, in a completely different way. I had to think outside the box. I got some help from some wonderful other folk artists that were using it. And I think I've really dialed in and figured out, I know I have, I've figured out exactly what I want to do with these paints, and they do some amazing things. I'm going to be teaching a class in Massachusetts in two or three weeks uh, at Snow Farm, a fine craft school in the Berkshires. I can't wait. In this class, we're going to go out and bird in the morning. Then we're going to come back to the studio, and we're going to draw and talk about design and carve and paint. And I just got shipment of paints for that class. And I'm just just kind of giddy with excitement over paint. Never done an unboxing video in my life. Watched a few and wondered what the point was. I think it has to do with how excited you are with what's in the box. So I'm going to confess this box is already unsealed because this is my 435th take of this video. I'm new to shooting these videos. You're going to see a few more of these. Um, but it's, it's great fun. I'm having a great time. So let's get to the box. I paint with 14 different paints. We're going to talk about the, those colors. I guess, though, the first one that comes out of the box is the color chart, and you can see there are a lot of colors. I don't use all these. Aren't they beautiful? I use 14 of these colors, and we're going to talk a lot in the future about how I use these colors and how I manipulate them, how I get the finishes of them. We'll talk later. Let's go through the box. Great packaging. Actual paint. This isn't printed on here. This isn't a label. This is actual paint. So that's fantastic. You see what you're getting. So this is Federal Blue, Marigold, Buttermilk, my go-to white. Historically, white paints weren't white, so this is my white, even though it's beige. I've had to explain that a few times. Lexington Green, Chocolate, this is great for graining. Pitch black. This is the blackest black I've ever worked with in any media. Any artist, artists know most blacks are blues or greens. It's black. It's really black. Pumpkin. Salem red. Perhaps one of my favorite colors. But we also have salmon, another red. They do great things mixed together. Sea green. Slate. This is my go-to gray. It's very blue. Sometimes I don't use this, but this is a great gray. I have snow white because sometimes when mixing colors, you do need a true white that the buttermilk won't give you in a mix. Tavern green. I made a beautiful table this color once years ago. And then we have um, the summer cottage. This is from their new lines of paints. These are not necessarily... Historic colors in the traditional sense, but I love this bright green. Blue, it's pretty, isn't it? And then in here, I've not opened this up yet. I know what it is. This is not something I use. This is something I'm experimenting with. Um, and we'll talk about that probably in future videos. Not so much today. Um, this is the crackle medium antique crackle and um, I've done some things recently with this that have me encouraged that this is a really fantastic product for some approaches um, again it's not my approach and I'm not going to change what I do but it's a great thing to teach people to use because it's approachable and it's much easier than what I'm doing so um, when I teach I'm going to be using this product again I'm Jeff Davis I'm here to talk I was here today to talk to you about Old-fashioned milk paints, which really are milk, and they really are paint. Fantastic things. I want a little blip, because this happens to me. I'll walk into a... I, I, when I buy this from retailers, they often say, well, we've got other milk paints on the shelf, and they're mixed and ready to go. Why do you buy the powder? Those other paints are not milk paints. 
I could call them by name. You've probably seen them. They're historic colors, and they market them as milk paints. They're not milk paints, and milk paints have unique qualities and do some pretty amazing things. Those other paints are latex paints. They're good paints, but they're not milk paint. And if you want to get a finish like I, like I teach and like I show you, you've got to use the real thing, and that's old-fashioned milk paint. So again, I'm Jeff Davis at the workshops of G.B. Davis in Noblesville, Indiana. Um, I teach carving, um, sign painting, pull toys, and game boards. That's it. And letter press printing. Thank you so much uh, for enduring this first unboxing. It was rather long. Um, I look forward to talking to you about a lot of other projects in the future. Thank you so much.